I'm Jordan Fielding welcome to our news channel All India News. Headline, Russia worried India could cut nuclear reliance. Now in details. Despite repeated pleas by Russia, the government is yet to clear the signing of the, or the General Framework Agreement, GFA, for Kudankulam 5 and 6 react units, official sources confirmed on Wednesday. While the agreement was approved by an inter-ministerial committee, it still awaits final clearance from the PMO. As reported by Toy on Wednesday, Russian Deputy PM Dmitry Rogozin took up the issue with PM Narendra Modi last week but there was still no assurance if India was going to sign the GFA before or doing the upcoming summit meet of Modi with President Vladimir Putin. GFA is the final agreement before a project can commence. After its evaluation by the inter-ministerial group, the proposal has now been sent to the PMO and is awaiting its green signal, a top government source was quoted as saying by PTI. BRICS is an acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa and is an association of these countries. They have been identified as the fastest growing economies in the world. They are also seen as having large influence on regional affairs in their area. Since 2009, the nations have held an annual summit every year. Originally known only as BRIC, the first summit was held in Yekaterinburg, Russia in June 2009 when South Africa was not a part of the group. On December 25, 2010, South Africa was officially included with the BRIC members, and the acronym changed to BRICS. As of 2015, the group's total estimated GDP is $16.6 .6 trillion and they represent nearly half the world's population at 3.6 billion people. The World Bank has estimated the growth of BRICS to rise by 5.3% in 2017. The group has a bank called as the New Development Bank whose primary focus remains lending money for infrastructural development among the countries. Relations among the members are mainly on the basis of non-interference, equality and mutual benefit. Vladimir Putin is the president of the Russian Federation, presently serving in his third term. He had also served as his country's prime minister after the end of his second term, in accordance with term limits. Putin is a former officer of the Soviet intelligence agency KGB, rising to the rank of lieutenant colonel in his 16 years of service. He quit the KGB to enter politics as part of the Boris Yeltsin administration. He became Russia's acting president when Yeltsin resigned in 1999. Putin's first two terms as president, between 2000 and 2008 were marked by high economic growth driven by a resource boom, especially in the energy sector. Putin retains widely popular in his country and is perceived as a strong and iron-fisted leader. However, the West has often accused him of strong-arm tactics and of running an oligarchy. Putin also met heavy criticism for his decision to intervene in the internal turmoil in Ukraine and seize the Crimean Peninsula. Despite tensions over this, Putin's administration has been working in tandem with the West in the ongoing military operations against the Islamic State terrorist outfit. For more news, the relationship between Russia's President Vladimir Putin and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is not of conflict or tension. Both the leaders have interacted and shown interest to work on improving strategic bilateral ties during their meetings in Brazil and Russia, 6th and 7th BRICS summit respectively. Putin and Modi reflect a very forthright, decisive and nationalist persona. From using their foreign policies to glorify their countries at the international front to rekindling the nationalist feeling of the masses by invoking the country's glorious past, the two leaders share quite a few similarities. Find out five similarities between these two leaders. 1. Magnanimous love and stark criticism polarized responses. Putin and Modi have received love and hatred equally. The supporters of both these leaders worship them for their charm and nationalist ideology. But their opponents have not left a stone unturned in attacking and tarnishing their image.
the pair possesses an image of a fascist and authoritarian in the eyes of their opponents. If Putin's Russia is full of Putin goodies, from Russian dolls depicting Putin as a hero, fighter and a diplomat to Putin t-shirts and keychains then Modi's India is not behind in the race. There are many Modi backs in the country who have come up with Modi rackets and kites as well. According to a Pew report, after Modi came to power in 2014 the general feeling of the masses about their country has grown more positive. They have a more favorable opinion of the current prime minister than the previous one. 2. The grandeur of these messiahs. The Russians adore Putin because of the dramatic economic change he has brought and defied the poor image that was created of Russia post-Soviet Union. When it comes to India, it is actually the brand Modi has become because of which the Indians have a positive outlook towards their country now. According to the Pew Report, almost three-quarters of the public thinks that the country's economic conditions are good. Modi supporters are optimistic about the improvement in the economy within the next 12 months. Months. For more news, please stay with us and subscribe the channel now if you have not already.